go. And this is really playing games. Starfinder against the Aeon Throne. I'm Graham and I'm playing Murphy the Patra Operative. I am Brian and I'm playing Shardik the Uplifted Bear Technomancer. I'm playing Zyson, the uh, Kastatha Solarian. Uh, I'm Ross, playing the Palaka Witch Warper. And I'm also Ross, playing uh, Ozzy, the Isoki Mechanic. And I'm Patrick. I am going to murder them horribly uh, for the seventh you, time. You failed <laughs> last time. Yeah. I did. I didn't even make you roll initiative. I'm a horrible failure. That was your one failure. chance, and you blew it. As a you game blew master, it. Uh, there is definitely nothing horrible waiting for you inside. I don't know the military fortification that you're planning on attacking at some point. Nope. Um, last time, you let's see. How did you start? You began by meeting with uh, a member of the resistance. Um, who is a Lashunta named Garaya Lee. Uh, you talked to her. You definitely remembered that there was that information that she wanted. Um, and you told her that her family was, in fact, still alive after uh, a mining accident. She was grateful to you and offered you a piece of information that you didn't know before, which is that the... Uh, the moisture collector somehow reacted to her singing in Aquan. Um, with that information, you you didn't do the moisture collector first. What did you do first? The um, monkeys. We, first, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That before, before you met with her, you uh, went to release uh, the hobgars from the hobgar trap. Hobgars are pests. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, they um, they like to attack technological things. So um, Murphy mostly uh, released them, and mm -hmm. then along with Yulia, I believe it was, mm -hmm. threw Sorry. some some technological items so that the uh, the Hobgars would chase them and then go and attack the Aslanti garrison. My fucking glass cutter. Um. <laughs> You then healed Zyson, who was eh, not doing great. Um, <laughs> I think then you went back to rest at Ibretta's junk shop. Mm -hmm. Then you went to meet with Garaya, and mm -hmm. then with Garaya in tow, because none of you speak Aquan, um, mm -hmm. you went to the moisture collector to liberate it. Um, and you were pretty successful. You discovered that there was a water elemental. Um, and Garaya was able to speak to it in Aquan and tell it to leave. <laughs> and leave it did. Hey. Uh, so now, what would you like to do? Uh... What time is it of the day? <laughs> it is, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 in the morning. We'll say 11. Wait, did that patrol go by the graveyard? Oh, yeah. we already killed the patrol. It turns out. We already killed. Was that the patrol that attacked us? Yeah, it fit the, the description. Thing. So have well, we done well, everything on, on our checklist? They'll probably <laughs> replace it with a different one, right? I mean, they only have so many people. <laughs> Been counting. Garaya said that we could talk to Ludvar, who is the settlement's chief mechanic. She did indeed. Another member of the resistance. Um, where did he live again? He lived, he he was going to meet you in the woods northeast of Madeline's Landing. At a specific time. Uh, I believe she said it was going to be about one o'clock, but she also told you where his home is. So, well, if he wanted to meet us in the woods, I suppose. That's probably the best place. What, do we know sp exactly where? She gave you directions of where to meet him. There's sort of a little clearing in the woods. Okay, how far away forest. is it? 
it's just on the other side of town. It's not too far in. He doesn't. Uh, she didn't describe like a long journey. Um, what's the plan, Cap? Do we want to? Okay, so if we're going to go after this garrison, which I know especially Murphy wants to do, right. <laughs> um, we can try to gather some intel intel in person by watching it. I don't know how much information that would give us. We could go back and ask the only other person that we know that's been inside of it. Um, or we can see if Ibreda knows anything about their... Like, do they have, like, a 24-hour guard standing outside? Like, what is their customary um, behavior? Is that a Who question? Is, the, is that a question yeah. for me of what you have observed? No, in general, I guess of the group. Do we? What, who is the person that was captured, and then got away? Corsica. Corsica. Thank you. Well, she didn't get away so much as was released because she sustained very many injuries. Do we want to talk to her again about the garrison itself, or do we not want to do that? I seem to remember Patrick telling us last time that she doesn't like to talk about it. Right. Um, Maybe she'll be more receptive because of our charming personalities. Because <laughs> it just seems kind of reckless to barge in without much knowledge of the whole situation. What do y'all think? I think that it does sound reckless to have just barged in without any information, but that hasn't stopped us in the past. Maybe Ludvar has some help. Yeah, if we're getting intel, I, th I suggest uh, we get in touch with this Ludvar. So do we want to wait out in the woods for two and a half hours, or <laughs> stop by Bretta's? Uh... I say we hang out in the woods, maybe shoot some hobgars for fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what? Maybe instead of storming the garrison, we should do more to kind of get the uh, <coughs> the. The, the rebellion to like us because we've saved the moisture farmer or the moisture farm or whatever moisture collector uh -huh. all right is it there is anything the of their well right is it so is there anything else that the um the the islante have been holding hostage that we can liberate to well make people make more their believe their leader you know anything like other that. than that mm. well uh, we could ask Ibretta. Maybe we should ask Ibretta about Ludvar. Maybe she got a good feel for him, you know. Let's see, see what she thinks. Let's go do that. Let's go ask her lots of questions. All right. <laughs> All right. I, I also have a question for her. I, I, I want to I talk to Ibretta. So we're going to make our way back there. Yeah. Okay. Do you make your way back? Make uh, stealth checks for me, please. No. Oh, no. I mean, unless Not you don't again. want to. You don't have to. You I could just walk out in around. the open. Is there a yes. difference between us doing it and failing and not doing it? And... <laughs> yeah. Failing. I mean, not really. No. Go, Yulia. Oh, nice. Double nat 20s. Okay. Not so bad. Okay, overall, that's other than the Charting. giant lumbering, bear. probably bellowing for no reason bear. Mm. <laughs> uh, you, you roll pretty well. All right. Um, who 
you over to the junk shop. Down that. Shh. Mm. Uh, as you approach, um, uh, I brought his junk shop. The mechanic rushes out to meet you. They've mm. got him. The Islanti, I mean. They've got Jellic. The idiot snuck out for some ill-advised sabotage. Oh, and a fuck. pair of those damn soldiers caught him. They're not going to imprison him, I don't think. They're going to execute him any minute. They were threatening with him with a knife. Oh, fuck! Just to the southwest of here, I think they'll wait only long enough for a small crowd to gather, then make a lesson out of him. Murphy, Please hurry, rescue Murphy that damn. fucking launches himself. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> oh. Like, <laughs> whoosh! <laughs> immediately runs off in that direction. I'm gonna so You, I'm you gonna immediately run, run off in the direction. Sprinting. That is what you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I Very we good. Go with him. <laughs> yeah, let's go say <laughs> lucky. <laughs> nah, let's just go what we're doing. <laughs> what are we oh, doing again? Asking questions. So you are actually. <laughs> I need to move you all because you are actually to the north. Flip it. Or if you can all move yourselves to the. Sure. Whoosh. 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 I'm like jumping on top of buildings, doing parkour shit, being a cat. But still unnecessary. Unnecessary, unnecessary parkour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You um as you leave, uh Ibretta, you can see her looking around and she heads in the direction of Corsica's um actually yeah, Corsica's module. Wait, what happened to uh, the person we were with? Oh, she um... went home. Can I get my? <laughs> I have got my gun back from her. Yes, she gave you your okay. gun. Back. <laughs> wait, wait, can I have my gun back first? Right, nice. <laughs> uh, as you arrive close enough to see what's going on, uh, you can see that Jellic is down here, dangling from a lamp post. Hmm. by his manacled hands. His body hangs so his feet nearly touch the ground, his nose bleeding badly, and fresh bruises rising from all over his face. Fuck! Two soldiers stand near Jellic, wielding two wicked-looking whip-like weapons. I have pictures for you somewhere here. Whips and chains. They look kind of like this. Mm. The two Aslanti Nasty. are brutish looking bearded men with sharp widow's peaks. And oh, surprisingly, man. they're not wearing their helmets. They're clipped to their belts. Hmm. As you arrive, one of them, the one to the south, takes a knife and slashes through Jellic's stomach. <gasps> Jellic screams in agony. Oh! <laughs> and begins bleeding all over the ground. You fucking Aslanti bastards. You say that out loud? Yes, I do. Okay. They both look at you and pull out guns. And we're going to roll initiative. <laughs> I turn to Shardik. You want, as I assume there's like a bunch of crowds of people around here. Is that what these folks yes, are? Yes, so like those, those people, those are, there is a crowd of uh, Medellin's landing civilians watching in horror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I turn to Shark and be like, this is our chance to impress the people. That's what this is to you? <laughs> <laughs> hey. We're putting on a show. We're put, gonna put on one hell of a show. Nope, 
that's not them that's not them there they are so yeah the picture that i showed you is basically them except they're not wearing the the helmet and they have beards and really noticeable widow's peak mm -hmm. um okay. what about bobby or is he going your turn he goes on my turn oh Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't leave him out because he's our MVP. <laughs> he's the strongest yeah. character we have. <laughs> A Jesus Christ, you people roll high. <laughs> Murphy. <laughs> Murphy's <You're up>. fucking <laughs> filled the brim with energy, ready to fucking go. He has his laser pistol out. Um, I'm going to jump on top of this container um, and doing my full action trick attack. So I wanted to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. From there, aim at number uh, one. I think you're going to be about one because it's ten feet. It's like, oh. yeah, ten-ish feet up. Okay, so I can't quite get quite that far. Um, all right, but I running up the side of it and trying with, trying with my trick attack, uh, an acrobatics check. Thirty-one. <laughs> so number one's flat-footed against this sweet-ass laser pistol attack. Good because I hope it's an right. eleven and it goes against his EAC minus two. Eleven flat footed hits. Yes. Ha. So, uh, so three fire plus an additional one. one. <laughs> Four, Four whole points of damage and he's just look, he's standing on top of the container, one pistol in hand, pew, kind of like posturing for the crowd. I believe that is the green. Sure. Murphy's here for it. <laughs> I don't care what building it is. I'm on top of it. Oh no, that's definitely not the greenhouse. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Um, all right, so you zap Pew! him with your laser pistol. Uh, Dyson, you're next. You're pretty quiet now, Patrick, for me. Is that true? Yeah, for same. Other people? 10, okay. 15, 20, okay. 25, 30. So I can get. I want to run all the way there. I'm still not looking my best, eh? <laughs> yeah, healing is uh, not super fast. Oh, but that actually makes sense. I'm okay with that. <laughs> realistic healing. <laughs> well, the future. Shouldn't they more have more like, realistic? Or whatever? <laughs> well, <laughs> they do. Put them in a box to tank. There, there <laughs> are uh, healing serums that you could purchase. <laughs> what? Let's go to the Aslani <laughs> store and buy some potions. <laughs> uh, um. I think I'm going to. <laughs> How much is it? I have my gun. I don't know yet if I want to. Well, actually. Um... Yeah, I will dash and get closer. That would be the end of my turn. What about charge? Charge. Yeah, you could charge if you want. Oh, what's what is that? Sorry, how's that work in Pathfinder? So you, um, let me see. As a full action, you move up to double your speed in a straight line and you make a single a melee attack at minus two, and you take minus two to AC until uh, next turn. To move, um, double your speed. You have to use all of it. Up to, no. up to. Okay. What is my AC doing? Eh, why not? Let's live dangerously. 
That's the spirit. <laughs> I'm a reckless person. <laughs> yep. Just make a regular attack, and you'll have to minus the the two. Okay. I don't think it'll auto do Aww. that. Yeah, that Oof. you swing your pike and miss. Oof. Goes right no over kidding. his head. I'm hoping to distract them so they don't. Their friend. Definitely could use some backup. All right, Ozzy, you are next. Right. Okay, I'm going to uh, shoot at the closest guy. Okay. And you are. Hey, you have a clean shot, I think. Yeah, it looks like. Ooh, it. that's a natural 20. Nice! And does that include the crit damage? Yes, it does. So four, four fire damage. And then it's like burn 1d4, right? They're on fire. Pepper him. Well, I guess pepper burn, would be a... Baby, burn. Would be a bullet. Baby, burn. Does it have a crit? crit. Uh, I don't think so. I, I thought it did. Azimuth laser pistol. And while that is going on, uh, Ozzy, he uh, begins with his uh, non-pistol hand. He begins typing on an invisible keyboard. It does have a D4 <laughs> okay. burn. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, getting into it. Invisible keyboard. Bobbert uh, just moves. It like turbocharges Bobbert, and he just. takes off double move to uh, move to here and then start climbing up the lamppost. Okay. So next it's going to be man. Uh, and he that's all he can do, right? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, I, I assumed master control and made him use his move and his standard to also move. All right. That gives me next. Probably a really bad idea, though. It's going to be... So the burn takes place on their turn, is that right? Am I remembering so, that correctly? Yes. All righty. I'll look up some How long does that go you. for? Forever. I think they can take an action to turn it off. I'm trying to find it and yep, am I got not you. finding I it. I got you. I got you. Burn, baby, okay. burn. Um, um, you put a little burning. You're on fire. As long so as you burning. have this condition, uh, the start of your turn before you take any actions, take the listed amount of damage as fire damage. Um, the end of each round, you can attempt a reflex save. DC equals to 10 plus the amount of damage you took. Is that a condition, then? It is. The burning condition. So we'll, we'll pretend that that bacon is fire. <laughs> um, right. Shardik, what would you like to do? Um, what what does... Because num number one is on fire. What does number two seem like he's going to be doing? Does you can make a sense motive check. Ooh. Okay. Great. Time for that famous one. By his bluff. No two people. Or not on fire. Uh, oh, I <laughs> yeah. I need to you see don't two, know. Huh? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to assume he wants to do something bad. And I'm going to assume that he, he actually wants to do something bad to that person we're trying to save. <laughs> so, I'm going to move a up. Decent to assumption. After he yeah. fucking stabbed him in the stomach. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm clear, going bear. to try and, and daze him. Ooh, all right. Like daze Ray. Which is Days Ray. Ray. Yeah, it's, that's it's what right. it is, yes. Uh, okay, so it's a will save. Will save DC 14, assuming okay. that he has CR 3 or lower. That he has what? CR 3, CR 3 or, or lower. Ah, uh, yes. You and would be in big trouble if they were CR 6. Yikes. Uh, that is going to be a big ol' fail. Yeah. Nice. Day so he is days for one round, unable to take actions. But no penalty to AC. And no penalty to AC. Okay. So that number two. Number yep. two. Number two so is number two. Cool, cool, cool. Good job, Bear. Fuck him up. 
You're welcome. Okay. Number two Would is have. dazed. <laughs> ah, nice. One uh, takes out it's his <laughs> his whip and he burns it. first. Yeah, see. So it's when do, do you want to roll it, Ross, or two. should I? Okay, so he takes two. That's Zyson. I don't want to take two damage. From <laughs> Please don't, you'll die. Um, okay, <laughs> he takes his whip and lashes out. I believe it's going to be at Zyson. Yep, it's going to be at Zyson. Makes sense. That one is a natural one. Oh! So he, uh, yeah. he swings his whip at Zyson from his current location. It should be noted. Current location. Mm. Um, and it gets tangled around Zyson's uh, pike. So they're both attacking from range and they're, they're kind of tangled together and he pulls it free. Yulia, your turn. Uh, um... They were um, so that's 20 so far. Um, are these people just like townsfolk, basically? Yes. They're just watching this scene? They are watching uh, in a mixture of emotions. You could make a sense motive check to get to I try and figure out what their emotions are. <laughs> it will not take an action to do so. Aww. Yeah. They are. There is a mixture of emotions. <laughs> they all feel things. Um. I'm gonna tell them to like get out of here. Go. Home. This is not safe. <laughs> You're just uh, in danger. Uh. And I'm gonna stand, continue moving to here, uh, and then I'm going to shoot at number one with the azimuth pistol. Okay. Oh, number one needed to make a reflex save. That's right. Uh, DC was ten plus. Ten plus damage he took. Uh, What's that? Yeah. Okay, he succeeds. Um, and... Sorry. Oh, that's right. Full attack. No. Seventeen. Nice. Uh, Seventeen versus EAC is going to hit okay. for another four fire damage. This guy is just his uh, his beard has caught on fire at this point. <laughs> oh no! Um, burn along along with uh, you know there are some some burn holes in his armor. Things are not going well for him today. Yeah. Yulia, are you done? You yes. moved. You okay? Murphy. All right, I'm gonna to try to finish this number one off. I'm just gonna do a bunch of backflips on top of this container <laughs> and end up moving to like here and do another okay. trick attack against number one. So acrobatics, 21. DC uh, is um, 21. DC. 20, yeah, 20 plus, plus one plus one and a half CR rounded down. It's 21. Okay. Nice! Just barely. So he's flat footed against this laser pistol attack. Beam. That's gonna hit for another two fire. Plus two. Four fire. Four more fire. Okay, Beam. this guy is uh, continuing to burn. More of him is now burning. More of the cloak, oh. more of the armor. He and... should have made a, a reflex save against the fire at the end of his turn. A DC 12. He did, and he succeeded. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. I missed that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 
That is your turn, Murphy, yes? Yes. Zyson. Okay, let's Finish him. See about that. <laughs> These dice just do not seem to want to work with me. Let's smack him. <laughs> Mm. Uh, also, mm, mm, as mm. as as Murphy is shooting, um, Jellic sort of coughs, and he coughs up blood. Someone oh, save no, him! He has, it's a classic uh, kind of consumption. Meanwhile, Zyson <laughs> uh, takes his tactical pike and decapitates this first oh. uh, soldier. Nice. Would you like to move, Zyson? Oh, you still yes, have a move. I, I would. Uh, five. Um. Can I do that? 15, 20, 23. I can do that. Into range for this next one. 25 feet. Protect the people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ozzy. Okay. Um, I'm using my standard to move to here. Okay. And I'm going to use my move action to direct Bobbert to climb on top of the pole and uh, uh, un what am I trying to say? To get Jellic down. <laughs> okay. Um, he is hanging by manacles. Zap him. Which are, are on they like top of the light pole? What kind of what? Do, what is Bobbert equipped with? Bobbert is equipped with uh, manipulator arms. I think are really the only uh, rele uh, relevant mod that I have. Okay. Can you lift like 140 pounds? Make an engineering check to um, to pick the lock on the manacles. Okay. Because he's kind of, he's just kind of hanging. And so I don't think Bobbert is going to be strong enough to like throw him off. Well, the uh... Bobbert does have a strength of 12. Hmm. Okay, then he can make a um he can make a strength check. He can do either one. Yeah. Um I think that's a better thing. Although they're both, I don't They're both fairly low DCs, but Yeah. Cuz I'm trying to remember if I can use my bonuses when I'm using direct control. But I can't remember that, and I don't think I have time to look up hmm. right now. Okay. Um, yeah, so Bobbert, um, he's, it, or it's, Bobbert succeeds in getting Jellic off of the lamp post but he land like jellic lands hard like sort of sideways Ooh. uh not at a very good angle um and jellic is looking pretty bad he's bleeding all over the place uh yeah yeah mm. what else would you like to do uh that is all i can do okay shardik I am going to attempt to daze the remaining soldier. All right. Does that work so well last time? It's a uh, will save, yes. Will save AC 14. Fail. Yeah! He will Go continue there. to do nothing. Dazed. And then I will... Ponder the fact that the human guy looks like he's bleeding to death, but I don't really know what to do about that. Hmm. I try licking it. Seems like. <laughs> I want, you're going to eat him. Let's see this giant bear come and lick the bloody person. You're going to this assume. Mouth open. <laughs> okay, fine. I won't oh, do that. Okay. Because I am a fellow Dungeon Master slash GM, Patrick, I am going to uh, tattle on Brian. <clears throat> 
as part of the day's description, it says after a creature has been dazed by the spell, it is it immune can't to do it, it for again. one minute. Right, you're immune. Yeah. Yeah. What else would you like to do? On your <laughs> <turn>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would probably know that it doesn't. I read again. that this weekend too. <laughs> I, I read like most of the spell description. <laughs> that uh, last uh, sentence always gets you. A, a energy ray him instead. Pew. Uh, ten probably misses. Uh, ten versus EAC is gonna miss. Mm. Nah, it was electricity. If you're wondering. All right, little zap of electricity. Uh, number two. So he is going to also pull out his whip and try to smack Zyson again. This is gonna Same fucking die. Deal. That's gonna be a twenty-four versus your KAC. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hit, I think. Ooh, we may have two people bleeding out. Six slashing damage. Six non-lethal slashing damage. So that's there's true. that. Uh, Sweet, and then he is going to take a guarded step here. Number one is removed from the initiative because number one is deceased. Yulia, what would you like to do? I'm going to... And that was an unfortunate move. Um, I've. Oh, it's more, more to move diagonally, isn't it? Yes. Your second diagonal costs 10 feet. If you press Q while you're dragging your token, it'll measure it automatically. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm just going to go here up in melee range um and uh i'm going to take out a serum of healing oh. and use it on the kid angelic <laughs> oh my god so you do not good. have the actions to do that why not because is it a full action it to is administer? A, it is a move action to pull it out a move action to move and it it may throw it at him standard action <laughs> to administer but you definitely so i was trying to look that up and i doesn't say it under the serum of healing entry yeah i would say it would be an action Let's say standard action you activate an item as a standard totally no item interaction. Is there something else you would like to do? Kill him. Um, <laughs> Kill him instantly. Um, I don't know. Prepared for it. I'm going to... Uh, I, I mean, you can have it out. Be ready for next round. Yeah, I still need... I'm going to take it out. Um... Can I do two move actions if I don't do a standard, or no? Is that not how this works? Uh, yes, you absolutely can. Um, so I'm going to get up to here, and I want to... Can I intimidate number two into focusing as, on me? As, as, as you get there, I want you to make a medicine check. Okay. A medicine check. That's not so great. Um, you can do it. No say. A twelve. Yeah, you look at Jellic. Angelic is dying. If you don't do something in mm, approximately the next your current turn. What does that mean? What does that mean the next your current turn? <laughs> does he have a round or zero rounds? <laughs> I 
hard to tell. Hard to tell. Actually, honestly, you see that there's nothing you can do. <sighs> He's dying, and you do not have the expertise. You are not trained in medicine, and he dies at the end of the next round, or at the beginning of the next round, Fuck. which is Murphy's turn. Um, hmm. what could happen? Could... So is there anything anything else you can do? Wait, 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 just just hear me out. Hear me out. Can oh, at the start of the next round, which is literally after Yulia's turn. Okay, never mind. Right. Yes, Yulia is last. So I guess I won't take out a healing serum then. Fuck it, he's dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because it just... it's a full action to administer a serum to an unconscious creature. He Damn. doesn't have a mask on? I'm going to punch him in the face as hard as I can. <laughs> yeah. Just take, take it out on him. <laughs> It's probably gonna miss, but we'll find out. Is that so? What is is that? Just a flat strength roll? I think Fine. so. <laughs> and you do like. Let's see, attack roll. I have never bothered to look up how unarmed strike works. Uh. Um, there is unarmed strike does 1d3 bludgeoning damage it's archaic and non-lethal okay so yeah make a, Just a string make check. a melee attack yeah archaic means it does 5 fewer damage unless the target is wearing no armor or archaic armor <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, you punch him right in the chest plate. Thud. I, can I? I still want to yell at him. You're going to die. <laughs> I yeah, kill bark you. in his face. <laughs> you do so. <laughs> Speaking of dying, Jellic coughs again and then turns gray. Thanks, Graham. <laughs> uh, Murphy screams, "No!" and like leaps in the air. Um, you know, like ah, uh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just gonna leap in the air. I'm gonna try to leap up to the light post that he was hanging off of, and okay. like land on top of it. Can I try that? <laughs> Bobbert's already on top of it. Oh damn it! Um, I'm still gonna I'm gonna jump on Bobbert. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be a high high skill. Yeah, I mean it's it's the normal roll to get your to get him flat footed, but okay. you're gonna need to roll high on this to not watch me to not fall down. Twenty five. 25 was your DC. Yes! I do want Bobbert to make a... Um... I'm going to say a reflex yes, save. Reflex. Can Bobbert make a reflex save? He's fine. Okay, Bobbert is able to sort of scuttle down uh, as Murphy is... Uh... And like in the middle of the air, it does like the Ling Breath of the Wild slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> um, and goes to shoot because I guess 25 means he's flat footed yep uh, laser pistol 16 will hit for another 4 4 plus 3 7 fire damage wow. you hit him sort of square in the shoulder uh, he's doing well he's doing alright Zyson <laughs> Not for long. Okay. Taking our vengeance. My turn to smack him. <laughs> Get him. Tactical Pike. 14 versus KAC will hit. Nice. For two piercing damage. Oh, uh, 
I think plus one because I'm in photon mode. Hmm. Yeah, All it's right. just adding your base attack and ability. Yeah, it's a plus one to that. Yep. I'm going to declare right. what mode I'm in every turn. I keep forgetting to... You should declare it when you start and... If you change. When you end attunement. Yep, I mean, yeah. I guess I will know when you end attunement. Then. <laughs> I do yeah, that's the obvious part, but I mean... On your first turn, probably... basically. It in the chat. Um, I mean, as long as you say it on, on your first turn, it's fine. Um, would you like to move at Sison? Oh, I don't want to move. All right. Because uh, I think I can't really escape. He's got reach, right? Yeah, sure does. Ozzy. I think I'm going to stay put. Uh, well. I was going to try and stabilize Jellic, but that no longer seems to be a case. So... I'm full attacking against, uh, number two. Okay, so you... So that is a teen versus EAC is gonna hit. The first one is not even close. Yeah. The second one does hit. Two. Two whole fire. Another another fire. Boy, you guys are gonna be in trouble if you run into like a fire element or something. <laughs> Hopefully we'll level up and get other guns at some um, that end, but anything else, Ozzy? Bobbert also Bobbert. shoots. Full attack. Six is not gonna hit. Bye. Uh it sort of just zaps down the uh the light post. Shardik. 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 Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Donut. Oh, no. uh, Donut. Sorry, you guys were on mute. I mean, I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I'm using an energy ray, and I'm going to do fire, because that's the thing we do in this campaign. Yeah. Uh, apparently. Nice. Uh, so that's a 50. Okay. Oh, boy. Burn him. This guy is now also Melt on. him. Uh, and he's looking real rough good and and also a flame sort of not mechanically uh would you like to move shardik no i like it where i am okay so this guy is gonna Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna move so i'm not standing in the flower bed anymore <laughs> this guy spits blood looks around and sees <sighs> boy sees zyson <laughs> take down wait the actually Yulia tried to punch him in the face and barked at him. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna roll for it. Um, oh, it's evens. Okay. Uh, he's gonna slack, slap his whip at Yulia. Slap him. Slap him. Hell, I crack his whip at Yulia. That that's much slap. Like slap. Him. slap that's a. a that is a 21 versus KAC. Ooh, does a, sure. a mere 21 hit your KAC? Yikes. That's uh, going to be seven non-lethal slashing damage to Yulia's face. Oh, man. Non-lethal. Her ugly dog face. Hey. Oh, says, that's says so the, rude. Says, nice. says, says the soldier. Says the soldier. Uh, what a dick. And then he's going to guarded step here. Speaking of you, speaking of ugly dog face, Yulia, it's your turn. <laughs> Yikes! I'm going to take out a pain. knife, my combat knife, and try to stab him again. Count as flanking if there's a. I guess the other person is just like. Ah. Nope. Yulia, Yulia could do a guarded step and be flanking with Ozzy. I can't. If I don't think Ozzy has a melee weapon anyway. Not currently in my hand. Um, you do a guarded step so that I can flank next. And That's true. Actually, you could do a guarded step here and flank with Zyson. Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I wouldn't be able sure. to. Did oh, that's true. Yeah, no, you would not be able to, because you wouldn't be able to pull out your weapon. Because I oh. don't have a base attack bonus of one. The joys of not being Zyson in this campaign. <laughs> um, so harsh. Until, 
until level two, at which until point you level two. do that. Everybody so the, the do thing that. to use the knife was strength check again, right? I is a combat knife. Oh, no, it was, de it was dexterity, because it was, uh, I it was an operative it weapon. An operative weapon. A 15 is going to hit KAC. And then it's a D4. It's 1D4 plus strength. strength. Two. Two. Okay. You. You uh, take exception to his. Uh, Aslanti. Maybe he does know. Maybe he knows enough common to say ugly dog face. So you uh, you slash at him uh, and you cut him along the side. You will not make it out of here alive. Murphy. Uh, um, Murphy is gonna yeah, just um, can I <laughs> Can I leap off of the light pole and land on his shoulders and shoot down at his head from on top of his shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he's definitely going to get an attack of opportunity. Sure. 100% going to get an attack of opportunity for Worth. that. Worth. So you take that first. Sure. Uh, does 16 hit your KAC? Uh, just. Just right. fucking hits. Is that like a grapple to like stay on top of him or something? Uh, he he's then gonna him. have to make it, assuming this guy survives. Fuck. Uh, seven non-lethal slashing damage from the, the whip. Okay, it takes um, care of my stamina points. Alright, so... Uh, Make your attack. My, yeah, it's not flat-footed. Uh, Apparently he's guarding his head area. I'm going to give you a plus... Plus one? Plus one circumstance bonus to this attack roll. <laughs> Great. I'll take it. So he's not quite flat-footed, but you get one. All right, laser pistol. Yeah! A 21 is going to hit. For one, for one fire damage on I, his head. I, I, I just can't like even graze, click on him. Um, because you're moving around a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, so that's a person. Do you mm. want to land on the person? I, I want to be like on top of his shoulder still. Number twos. Yes. Make a. You're gonna have to make another roll. Okay. Uh, make a... How to do this? A balance check. <laughs> Which would just be an acrobatics check. Like, I think it's going to be an acrobatics check. Mm hmm Okay, I can do that. Opposed by... It's going to be like an acrobatics check <laughs> minus 10. <laughs> opposed by, I'm going to say, his acrobatics check. Sure, I'll take a minus 10 to my acrobatics check. So it'll be a 12. <laughs> Nine. Ha! You're successful. <laughs> like dancing from one shoulder to the standing, other. standing on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, like just feral cat mode. <laughs> Zyson. Let's... Your friend is standing on your enemy's shoulders. Just shot him. Surely. Surely uh, he's distracted somewhat by me on his shoulders. And is flanking? looking pretty rough. Uh, no, you are not flanking him. I wish. You would have to be under him to be getting the flank. <laughs> not. Uh, hmm. Not quite yet. <coughs> well, hopefully I don't roll a one and I don't know. Smack you instead. <laughs> Oh, watch it happen now. Watch it just happen. Wow. 10 versus KAC. Uh, 10 versus KAC, yes. Yeah. So you swing, and it's probably because you're trying not to hit Murphy. You miss. <laughs> Ozzy. I'm going to use my move to pull out my tactical baton, and I'm going to beat this 
I'm gonna beat this uh, trooper about the knees. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're low to the ground. Like, whack, whack, whack. Nice! Uh, okay. Is that a plus um, zero? <laughs> with your tactical baton. How did you crit for zero? You, huh. you hit him right in the face and he falls down ah. out cold. I now, what happens <laughs> next? Uh -huh. So Murphy jumps off. What happens next is this person right here mm -hmm. looks at him and reaches down for the knife on his waist and starts to pull it away from from the soldier. Would you like to do anything about this? The person right here? Yes. And tactical baton well ta actually is tactical tactical baton non-lethal it's not is it mm. or is it because I, I thought for a, I, I thought for a minute it was but um baton tactical analog operative oh so okay yeah never mind you you crush a skull in. yeah nice um and and this person right here looks like if you had only knocked him she probably would have drawn his knife and slit his throat, but uh, you managed to take I, care of it. I see that look in her eyes, and I'm like, don't blame you. And then, like, uh, I take another shot at the back of his head with my laser pistol, <laughs> just to make sure he's dead. <laughs> it is at this moment that... Ibretta. Oh, God. Comes running. Um, she uh, appears here and runs and then gets to about here and sees he's on the ground. And then she dashes over here. And she puts a hand to her mouth. She shakes her head, says, oh no, oh no, oh no. Not yeah. like this. Fuck. And she falls to her knees, puts her arms around and says, Jellic fucking Fulson. How dare you? And starts weeping. Hmm. Murphy, just to distract himself, is going to kind of scan the area and see if any other Aslanti are around. Give me a perception check. Main thing. Okay. Um, you do not see any other Aslanti soldier. Um, you're not particularly close to the garrison at this point, uh, but nobody else has, has come running that you can see. Um, Ozzy's going to approach Abretta. She is crying. <laughs> She's, and you are, you know, you're behind her at this point. She's facing Jellic. She's holding him. I'm sorry, I... I wasn't fast enough. She just sobs and she shakes her head and sort of waves you off. And just continues crying onto his shoulder. Can I look uh, at number two for any sort of like personal things, identification, things like that? Sure, make a perception check. I want to take the fucking whip off number one. Yeah, so both of them, both of them have whips, both of them have uh, pistols, and both of them have knives. They also have their armor. <laughs> um, yeah, with a three, you don't see much in the way of like identification. Um, 
you Shardik may remember that they that the other ones have uh um tattoos you'd have to like pull off the their armor yeah, I just or what what sort had. of look I already have a you know I think we already know who they are but um what what is, what is your point here I was just trying to see what they had I don't know if nothing like their stuff parent yeah okay okay then yeah, I mean they important. have. Um, look at there. Yeah, there. If you take a look at their stuff, they have their whips are standard tack lashes. Their armor is the equivalent of troop ceremonial plate. Their knives are survival knives, and their uh, guns are tactical semi-auto pistols. Which okay. are uh, small arms. Like a regular pistol. Um. I'm just gonna hang out for a minute watching my Breda. <laughs> um, there's not much to say. Um, at this point, uh, maybe after a few minutes, uh, let's see, who would it be? No, it would be Wellis shows up. Um, I don't actually have a token for Wellis. I should have found some random teenager. Um, <laughs> he, uh, um, he walks up slowly. The, the people start to like filter out. Um, slowly. I, I call for them. Wait. <sighs> Captain, I, I'm going to say something. I'm going to do it. It's finally time. <clears throat> what you've seen here today, you've experienced for as long as these Aslanti bastards have been here. You felt their cruelty. You felt their oppression. And now look at it. Look at him! It's hard to look upon it, I know, but you have to witness this. Let it be burned into your mind what these bastards are going to do to every one of us if we don't strike them back first. This will just be the first. You'll be next. And then you. And then you. They won't stop. I know. I've seen how an empire works firsthand. My people have been enslaved for generations. I know exactly how an empire works. And this, this is the norm. This is every day. So are you, are you going to stand for this? Are you going to let Chelik be like the rest of you? Just one in a long series of deaths. If not, I suggest we do something about it. Suggest we take the fight to them. How many of us are there? We could take him. We could take him down. What do you say? Murphy, I want you to make a diplomacy check. <laughs> ten. A ten. I give myself a ten. Uh... Wellis says they they um they all of the the unnamed civilians sort of look at each other in eh, probably fear and they kind of like continue to inch off mostly. Fucking, um, fucking cowards! God, Murphy, show some class. And mm. Wellis, actually, where no, you were there. Wellis walks up to you and he says. There are only a few of us who are willing to, not after as many as we've seen die already. Jellic's not the first. And if you had egged them on, what if they had all died like Jellic? Would you have been comfortable leading a rebellion? Hands? Even with, you know, people dying along the way? Yeah, it's for the fight. But they have it's no weapons. We've, what are you gonna do when I, they all I die kick, in like, front of you? I kick like the tack lash over to one of them. There's weapons. There's a pistol there. Pick up a gun. Fire. It's not that hard. The rebellion doesn't work just because you believe it and want it to work badly. That's not um, all it takes. 
Wellis is going to walk over Murphy's and he like will her. lean down <laughs> and he'll pick up one, this is of an the, anime. <laughs> one of the handguns. And he's sort of holding it um, kind of in his hands. He's not, you know, and then he grabs it. At least someone's uh, got the fucking fight in them. He says, do you think I'd be better with a gun or with a whip? Go for the gun. To who? Is Who is he asking? Uh, generally. Uh, Murphy kind of comes up close to him. Go with the gun. And then I want to pick up the helmet that they had at their side and like okay. put it on Wellis. Like <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and just look at everyone else, he, else defiantly, like I'm messing this kid in a battle. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. You put the. Is it really wise the... to battle? Can he even fight? Of course, you fucking it's, can. It's not wise. And let me tell you, Wellish, what you already do is indispensable to the resistance. We have no communications. We need you to continue running messages between the resistance. He nods. Your words uh, will do more damage than any bullet will. Uh, make a diplomacy check. Come on, Ross. <laughs> this, this isn't bad. I just have to do better than the 10. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That was so good. He, um, <laughs> he sort of he takes the the um the helmet off and he puts it down mm-hmm. and he says, Maybe you're right. My mother's the one who's the fighter. And he puts down the pistol. Um and he looks at at the dead guys and he says she's going to want to know about this you know and he uh, leaves his... well what did she say about the two guys that she wanted them dead right <laughs> did she want to do that herself are you are you asking him I'm just he, he's not like running her. he's not like dashing away I'm just trying to remember what she said weeks ago um, at this point in real time. <laughs> yeah. Um, they just have to pike them pretty good. They I... were the ones who beat the shit out of her. Right. Mm-hmm. And if I remember correctly, she can't exactly walk right now, so... No. She mm-hmm. has a broken everything. I believe two broken legs and some serious damage. Hmm. Uh, Willis week? Willis gets gets this far and looks and says, "I'll call the doc. She'll she can see to the funeral, or she can see she can see to the burial." And then he <sighs> goes this way. We have four. To for success in combat, <laughs> the party receives 800 experience, Whoop. which I believe this over. is enough to level you up to level two. 800 divided by five. You have 160 each, so uh, just barely. Just barely. Yep. What 1308 is that where we're at? 1308. Yep. Level two, baby. Well, how does how does leveling up work in Starfinder? I believe you need to sleep. Okay, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. And it's like eleven in the morning right now. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> Should we uh, go talk to Corsica before we go meet Ludvar? You certainly have time. Let's do that. Can we also rest too? Do like a short rest. Uh, maybe not in the middle of the street, though. <laughs> Made this big Why public display. Should we like yeah. bring everything back to Ibretta's shop? 
Our we could just do, go to Korzakas. Can I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the pistol from number two. The the analog pistol. Alrighty. So you take you take one of the pistols. I took one. I would of like the to take. I'd also like to take the other pistol. All right. And then, um, and so Murphy is taking both of the tack lashes. Uh, I just took one of them. Okay. Although I cannot use it. <laughs> yeah, I think the only one who can use attack lash is going to be Zyson. Mm -hmm. What's what's their stats? Uh, uh, it does less damage. It's I think a D four. Yeah, I just had it up. D four uh, yes. non lethal. But they have actually <coughs> their benefits is they have they have the disarm property they have the trip property mm -hmm. they're not lethal if you don't want to kill people slashing instead of piercing yeah i mean you are literally the only one who might as well take one take i mean um, i've got the carrying weight and i can always pawn it off later burden i've got the stats up now and I want it just as Why a trophy. Uh, as we're walking back, Murphy's kind of lagging behind the rest of the group, like kind of wary of them all at this point in their tepid nature. Us? Mm hmm. That's an uncomfortable silence. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Have Murphy it right now. So, uh, you head to actually. I think now's a decent chance to take a break. We're about halfway through. Um, I need to go check on my laundry badly. Okay. <laughs> Can we do like a short rest? Uh, so, yeah, I will say you get to Corsica's home uh, and you are able to take 10 minutes. You will definitely be able to do that. Sweet. So, what's everyone going to do when they level up? I have not get, thought about it. Get some new no spells idea. or slash abilities. Oh yeah. Hey, me too. <laughs> no way. I, I don't hey, know what they're though. Like Do we get more health? <clears throat> yes. Do. You'll get um. So each class has a set number of hit points that you get. Uh, oh, that's right. And then okay. you get a number of stamina points equal to that plus your Constitution modifier. So your stamina points and your hit points go up. Um. <clears throat> so, equal to our, for a class right no because yeah. we're taking levels in our class yeah uh, so like for me the operative it has six hit points so i'll get six hit points and then six plus my con mod of zero uh <laughs> stamina points <clears throat> oh so you effectively like double your hit points of stamina at level two yes well not quite because you don't get the racial hit points the racial, you don't get those yeah, at first that's level. True. <clears throat> but you do get a substantial boost for the second level. Uh, you get your number of skill ranks. I'll get eight skill ranks because I'm skillful. You get that plus one base attack bonus. Do we get feats at odd levels or something? How does that work? Uh, Every odd level. Yeah. yeah okay. So, Unless you're a soldier. Yeah. 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 Evasion and operatives exploit. Evasion, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Um, I wonder if I don't know. I wonder if there was a time limit on him staying alive, or yep. it was just he wasn't savable. I think there's a way to get to him, but yeah, In one round that was done, more than my movement speed. Kind of fucked up. <laughs> and what? two rounds to I mean, save he him? Was, no, I didn't have two rounds. I mean, I had two rounds to save him, but I can't. Mm -hmm. It might have been more before I dropped him. Yeah, I don't started know how, the third round. I don't know how Patrick uh, ran <laughs> that. Cool, cruel and capricious cheese. A lot of ways to kill people. And is, well, are I didn't any realize, of us trained in medicine? I mean, I have a serum of healing. I'm trained in medicine. And I was 10 feet away from him, and I wasn't able to move to take it out. <laughs> and also move to get near him. <sighs> so sad. So very, very sad. 
<sighs> what should I get? Um, so we just gotta stay on a point back and spend a resolve point, right? Yep. Right. That's what we get. And that's it. <sighs> Yee. Yee. Oh, we also gonna get shit for Red Abbey. Do we? Yeah. Um, so when you level up, your ship levels up with you. Um That's so weird. <laughs> it's you know, it gets better. Sure. It evolves. I mean, mechanically it has to, but like <laughs> from a story standpoint, it's it's like, you know, salvaging upgrades from the destroyed Atlantis ships. Uh, so we'll be tier two. We'll go up to 75 starship build points. How much do we have at, at tier um, one? So we had 55, so we get an additional 20. Okay, so points. an extra 50%, basically. Yeah. All right. So you arrive at Corsica and Wellis's home. And you find that Corsica is the only one there. She is uh, still, because it's only the next day from the last time you visited her. Um, she is uh, still bundled up, still bandaged up. Um, what would you like to do after milling about for about 10 minutes? Is, uh, I'm going to ask her if Wellis has been by she says I haven't seen him since Ibretta came by to get him so do you want the <sighs> good news corner. or the bad news always give me the bad news first see so, uh, you know that kid Jellic he's not a kid he's an adult he was the I first guy tell. that she, <laughs> <laughs> she, she laughs and says Jellic's older than I am is he? Well, <laughs> he won't stay that way. Yikes. He didn't make it. They, she uh, sighs. Makes her head. They caught him yeah. uh, killing one of their officers and didn't take too kindly to it. He was... He's... Well... Had more guts than brains. Well, it's so what happens. Basically. And uh, you might be interested to know that the people who did that were. Did she ever give their names? No, she doesn't know their names. Those same two people that you came into contact with during your uh, stint at the garrison. She says, big, the big widow's peaks, stupid beards. Those were the ones. <laughs> and I'm assuming since you're here, you, what, tore their throats out? Well, they are both dead. Didn't quite go that far. But she they nods. weren't going to get out of there. She nods and says, Good. Good, they deserve it. And that was... For me and for Jellic. And she sort of leans over and goes, reaches under her bed and grabs a um, a data pad and says here I what made something this? I made something for you and she tr she you know like will touch it to anybody's data pad to transmit this to you 
Um, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. <gasps> beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. That's what we map. were looking for. It's a map of the garrison. Dumb bastards took me in one side. All the way through into the brig. Then when they took me out, so they took me from west staging in through the mess hall, through their operations center, through their recreation room, into the brig with the others. Then when they dragged me out, they took me into the recreation room, into the ops center, into the barracks, all the way down the barracks, into the other staging room, and then out the other door. Not very smart. <laughs> so is nice. this your your map from memory then? Yes. Good. And if you have any questions, I'll tell you what I know, which is not a lot, but. Um. Are there often a lot of? Were there a lot of officers around when you were through there, or were they out? doing tasks there it's hard to say there were i would say there were two who looked sort of like officers but i never really got a good glimpse at them they didn't do much more than walk through the brig but how many people were there in general like a lot or a little bit <laughs> i'd say well, there were three in the ops center. There were the two who beat the shit out of me. There were, let's see, I can't think of any others that I saw. There were, but it's, it's hard, it's hard to tell them apart. They were, when I saw them, they were all wearing their their helmets except for the two you killed well the ones in the ops center but they tended to put their their helmets on when they knew we were coming in or well they did when they they dragged me in was that in the middle of the day yes it was the first day they got here <clears throat> well, I'm about two seconds from going in guns blazing. Don't know the rest of you. That. What about the rest of you? Are you on board with this? My body hasn't given out yet. <laughs> we still need to meet with Ludvar. I, I, I do want to clarify. I believe you need to... Well, it doesn't actually say... But the tradition is you need to sleep, I believe, to uh, we attack to at dawn your, to, to get your level up. <laughs> we plan at dawn. <laughs> go go in at level one with level two XP and lose because of it. <laughs> well, well, we could like go to sleep at like three o'clock in the afternoon and then go in at midnight when they're when both of them are asleep. Yeah, but most of them will be inside then too. If we do it in the middle of the day, we wait after we interrupt we, the We should do it during shift change. Hmm. Do, do you know when that is? <laughs> we should study them until we figure out what shift change is and do it then. <laughs> I think Ozzy has a point. We need to talk to the Ludvar, the get all our information we can, and then attack when they're most vulnerable. So you're okay with waiting, Murphy? <sighs> Not for long, but. I want to hear what Ludvar has to say. Hey, I have an idea. Two birds with twin stone. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can leave Aji out to do recon for us while we're gone. That's a good idea. Do you mean... Uh, Bobber? Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, he's uh, Bobbert's a little piece. Says of me, So sometimes I call <laughs> him myself. Ozzy, <laughs> <laughs> Bobbert, Bobbert, Ozzy. Oh, bleed so, together. Yeah. Let's. Carmony. Let's. Uh, do you have any advice for us, uh, Corsica, <laughs> before we go barreling into here? Just be careful. I'm gonna just look at Murphy. And, and <laughs> when you're ready, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> go in. Go in fast. Take them out before they know what's happening. Oh, don't worry. But, but be I'm, ready. I'm pretty fucking fast. Loose. Loose. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so let's go wait we'll, for Ludvar. Yeah, we're going to go head out to, for Ludvar. All right. So you make your way out into the forest to the designated rendezvous point. Uh, you also, for earning Corsica's trust, you get 125 experience. Ooh. Yay, that's 25 each. So three, 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 three. Oh, that seems ominous. <laughs> three, 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 three. <laughs> three, 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 three. <laughs> um, so you make your way to the area where you expect him to come for a walk. Uh, and after a few minutes, it's not too long of waiting. He does. Uh, he, Ludvar is a human, um, and he approaches you. Uh, you notice immediately that the left half of his face is sort of melted mm. his left hand is only his pinky finger mm. uh, and he walks somewhat slowly he he's carrying a cane in his right hand he slowly but he he seems to be fairly confident confident stride Badass. <laughs> and he just, you can hear him, and he nods, and then he pulls out a data pad and starts typing on it with his one finger. So he holds it in the right hand, and then with his left finger, he's typing on it. And then he holds it up, and in big capital letters that uh, the data pad says I was told to meet you you're the ones who have caused so much ruckus recently we're about to cause a whole fucking lot more and to be clear he is not saying this this is being displayed on his data pad mm. right. I assume he can hear me when I say that aloud he looks at you <laughs> um, Got any intel for us? He just tap, 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 tap. Intel question mark. We were told that you wanted to meet us here. So tap. why? I guess it's a question. Tap, 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 tap. I don't know you very well. We're here, well, to yes. we're here to liberate your whole fucking village, all right? We're here to help. But he doesn't tap, tap, know tap, that. Tap, tap. And then he just reaches up with his left hand and sort of puts a finger to his uh, throat, and you can see that there's a hole in his throat. Tracheal. And then tap, 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 tap. My voice box is missing. Okay. Go and collect five voice boxes from the <laughs> forest. Go harvest voice boxes. <laughs> from the voice box tree. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> They're very <it>? expensive. <laughs> All right, where's your fucking voice box? Oh my gosh. 
Who, did someone take it? I don't know. I left it on my windowsill to dry, and it disappeared one morning. It's like a fucking pie. <laughs> Is oh, there no. a voice box fairy? <laughs> Do you think the hobgarish took it? Please, no. Well. Tap, 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 tap. That would make sense. <sighs> can, can we build you a new one? <laughs> Between the two of us, I'm pretty sure we could figure that out. Can't be that hard. How many ranks do you have in in biological sciences? He asks. <laughs> uh, I have one in life science. I have one in medicine. I can have two if we wait till Sweet. tomorrow. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, he, he taps again and says, that damn thing's worth 500 credits. Well, why were you leaving it outside on your windowsill then? He was leaving it out to, to dry. dry. That already. I mean, you can dry things that are inside. Like, it how about I build you a, de a dehumidifier and we can <laughs> consider a better way to do this next time? <laughs> um... He so, shoots you a glare. You want us to hey, like if if you if you object, just say it. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm tap, what's looking nice to this tap. guy, right? You're like, not you, telling you, me anything I haven't thought myself. So we're in and the then he clears room. it quickly and and taps again. Mm -hmm. Just let me know if you find it, and he turns. Wait, where is it? So we're, I'm not saying this out loud, but we're in the middle of a rebellion. People are dying in the streets, and he's like, "Oh, I left my voice box on the windowsill. Can you please help me find it?" What's yeah. about you? Somebody stole your sweet roll. Yeah, that's fucking reason not to help him. <laughs> Can we do this after we? You know, if we happen to pick up a voice box while we're in the, get, you know, killing every Aslanti we find, yeah. <laughs> then, then sure, I'll think about getting while back to the middle of life costume. or death battles. Yeah, but... I, I mean, most of the people we killed had voice boxes, but we can just take one of those. Sure. What aliens have you lived with? <laughs> Jeez. Uh... Well, I mean. Uh, never Yikes. mind. So that was our intel, was that he wanted us to find his voice box? Super, super. He wanted us to meet with them to ask about that. I do not believe anyone said that he had valuable... <laughs> we just assumed they, he did. They just... He's the last member of... So they thought she... Him. I feel like... <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Duly <laughs> noted. <laughs> Didn't Thanks. you say that there was something in the hopguard cage when you let them loose. Apparently Murphy saw something, right? Uh, yeah, there was something else in there. How big was it? I know that we investigated it. I don't know if I got a good look at it either. We were kind of in the middle of getting uh, away. About giving him my fucking glass cutter. <laughs> We can go back and look. Let's do that. No. It's pretty cool. Okay, so you you, like, you are heading back to the to the Hobgar cage to the Hobgar. Uh, let me unarchive that uh, map really quickly. Shh, we haven't left the planet. You shouldn't be archiving. Archive. <laughs> <laughs> planet <laughs> look they're still there <laughs> no I'm guys and then oh, look it's us because Murphy did not get a good look at it from what I recall no I think I've fucked up my perception check he i mean you saw it and then you from from my recollection you 
saw an object and then we're just like, eh, okay, whatever, continue with whatever plan. I mean, that's not quite how it went. It's got to do with the Hobgars. Um, so you are, you are looking for an errant voice box, yes? Yeah, I climbed back up there. Or No, we, we lowered the cage, so it should be Yes, so the cage is still at the bottom. No one has reset it. Okay, I go in. Okay. Okay, you look in the cage. There is a small object. I pick it up. Let's you pick look. it up. Is this you? Uh, you we... could you could make a. I think a medicine check is going to be the the closest thing. Medicine here. check. Seventeen. Who does that? Uh, Murphy. This seems to be. Uh, looks like it would be an electronic voice box. It needs to be cleaned. But I just stare at it for a bit. I think we should keep it. It's worth 500 credits. Let's see what it'll give us for it. Ooh. Can we just take it by his house? I I hand it over to you, Leah. <laughs> this is you deal with this. <laughs> I can't even. Literally can't we'll even do right this when this is done. Still, you keep it for safekeeping, all right? Okay. I'm more prone to do something rash and irresponsible. <laughs> Actually, what time is it? We have like plenty of time to like mill around, right? Since we're I'm not going to go rest and prepare for the invasion. If you're not planning to do anything before assaulting the garrison, then yeah. All right, let's go pick up Bobbert. Oh yeah, has Bobbert been scouting? Oh, yeah, Bobbert is. Uh, so Bobbert has been scouting the uh, outside, yes? Yeah. Give me a stealth check. Good. Okay, well, Bobbert's stealth is better. Okay, and then give me... Three perception checks, Bobbert. All over the place. All righty. Um, boy, a three and a two and a fifteen. Give me a minute to figure out what I want to give you. Not much. <laughs> So he, Bobber basically notices one thing. Um, and I believe the way that it, that it works is um, you have to get back to Bobbert and like download the data. So you'll find this once you, you go get him back. Right. Um, a lot of the time, like he kind of spins in, so he climbs up on top of this, of, of the, the, building and it's it's 15 feet high it's bigger than anything it's taller than anything else in you the mean, landing 50 uh 15 that's not very uh, tall no it's not uh these are all everything else 15 i mean it definitely says 15 feet high uh let's make that 25 feet high um <laughs> most most of these prefab buildings, though, are not very tall. Um, so it's it's the height that is the, the difference here. Mm. So he climbs 25 feet high onto the top of this prefab building. Um, and most of the time, you discover when you later download, when you download this video, most of the time is spent with the camera obscured by, mm. like, a... Uh, um effectively a crenellation thing there's not real crenellations like bobbert maybe hides behind the big guns that you saw when you first arrived um but it does you do notice one time that um a a single aslanti soldier comes 
walks to come goes to come back in the door um and like you know she's uh, 15 feet away she like takes her so her her helmet off and she's kind of fiddling with her helmet then she walks into the door um and then she shakes her head puts the helmet back on and immediately the door opens and she walks in Mm. RFID chips in the helmets perhaps (laughs) (laughs) don't we have a helmet didn't you take a helmet lucky I feel like someone took a helmet. Murphy took a helmet. Well, I put the helmet on. No. Well, as Char- put oh. it down. Shardik took a helmet. In, I, like... I, I took a helmet in the very beginning. Are oh. you still wearing said helmet, Shardik? It, it doesn't fit on me. <laughs> well, I'm assuming you're like wearing it over. <laughs> yes, because like, I, I was reach. trying to listen in on it to see if I could hear their communications, and I did not have a lot of luck. No, you did not. Mostly because you killed people before they could communicate. That's a thing. But I don't kill people. It's <laughs> mostly true, Barbara, it's mostly Barbara who kills people. To be honest, have you killed anybody? You may I, have. You may. I think you killed somebody. Yeah, I, 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 I mauled some guy with my claws at the at <laughs> last last session. Yeah, I was really mad at him for some reason. So armed with this information. What's next? Uh, do do all the helmets have they looked the same? Um, with the exception of the two who you killed today, yes. I still want to deal with the uh, clear and present situation rather than go risk us getting caught going to this person's house and getting them caught for, I don't know, consorting, whatever the word is with us. What's the word? Um, Cavorting? I don't know. Anyway, I think it would probably be best if we went back to Ibretta's and prepared for tomorrow. Wait, wait, should we find out if anybody else is missing a medical device first? Like, like maybe some guy lost their artificial leg or something? <sighs> you, can, you can ask Ibretta that if you want to. I will. You do that. Are you going to get mad at me if I do that? No, I... <laughs> you do what you need to for peace of mind. Let's go back and gear up. Get ready for the assault. <laughs> All right, so you head back to Ibretta's junk shop. Uh, Ibretta is not there, mm. um, but there is plenty of room um, for you to hang out, do whatever you want to do. Okay, dokie. Uh, while I'm there, uh, and this is in preparation for what I get from leveling up, I'm trying to find and salvage any medical supplies, like bandages and whatnot. Okay. Um, where are you looking? Um, well, I'm looking around the main area of her junk shop, kind of picking through scrap piles. I don't want to necessarily take her personal supply uh um, if i can find it basically i'm trying to rationalize why next level i'm going to get field treatment as my operative exploit to heal myself (laughs) you do find actually um you do find her her medical supplies so you find a med kit um and also there is a guidebook a um basically ba- you know, a basic medical training like um first aid 101 102 201 and 202 <laughs> combined into this 
this book. All right. Um, and it is a physical book. Is oh. the thing. It is not. It is not a data pad. It is a physical book. Okay. I have okay, a... Murphy, you have to flip this one piece of paper over to the other side. And <laughs> so barbaric. Um, if you open, if you open it up, there is a note um, inside it that says, uh, "Yes, Ibretta, even you," and it has a heart. No. Um, uh, and. Doc. 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 Wait a minute, this wasn't. Doc. That he wasn't a doctor, I don't think. Was he? I. I... It's like a. It's hmm. like a cutesy heart. Hmm. A cutesy heart. Someone else it. mentioned a doctor. I think it was this. Wellish. Fucking doctor. That's true. He did. Who's gonna make the funeral arrangements? Right arrangements. Huh. I pocket that and continue on my way. Any right. other preparations anyone else anyone would like to make? I am digging through a pile of junk. Ozzy uh, finds a uh, an analog keyboard. And he takes it, clears it out of space on a desk, slams it down, plugs it into a little uh, a port on his uh, left hand, and he begins typing, updating some code in the <laughs> in the uh, OS of the uh, custom rig in his eyeball. Okay. Uh, for a minute, I thought you meant a musical keyboard. I was a little confused because that had not, <laughs> had not, been, had not yet been uh, explored in Ozzy's character. But that <laughs> makes sense. He's a bard. I'm going to... Um, we're going to walk up to Murphy when he's like digging through this textbook or whatever it is. If I spot you like sneaking up on me, I like immediately shut the book and like put it behind my back. Captain... <laughs> I know you're gung ho about this, uh, and you know it's for a good reason. And I, your instinctual lack of hesitation is an asset. Um, I appreciate your willingness to to dive into things, even sometimes at the risk of your own life. But there is a fine line between that and recklessness. Now, if you go in, I'll go in behind you because I'm your captain. And that's what I'm supposed to do. So just know that wherever, wherever situation you get yourself into, you'll get me stuck into it as well. <laughs> but, you know, this is, this is not going to be easy. And... I appreciate having you on my side. Um, <clears throat> thanks, Captain. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's really just because, um, you know, I've I've seen this all before. I mean, I've lived this for a lot longer than these colonists. I've. I know what an empire does. I know, I know how they are. My family, my gods, for generations now, we've been under the thumb of the Vescarium, and there's no no fucking difference out here. So, uh, just get a little hot headed sometimes, I suppose. But um, it means a lot that you're gonna follow me into clearly suicidal mission. <laughs> Just try not to make it too suicidal. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I'm asleep. I'm gonna. I also want to check uh, Zyson too. So, what is okay. Zyson doing? He is uh, meditating to be. 
monkey and philosophical? Hunter <laughs> himself before you go off. We go off charging into this barracks. <laughs> are you? Um, are you okay? Well, with a little rest, I think my body will be better. We're out of. All the libations, though, it seems, so I'll have to run on regular courage. <laughs> you do remember that she had Kasatha and Brandy. Yeah. You may be it. <laughs> you help to... finding it? <laughs> I'm going to hand him one of the serums of healing that I have. No, 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 no. No? I can I can still treat deadly wounds. I haven't done that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, tell him to use it. He's just gonna hold it. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> if you need this, <laughs> you'll have it. I would rather, you know, you tend to rush in, <laughs> and unlike Murphy, you aren't as adept at getting out again. <laughs> oh. Somebody has to keep them off the rest of the crew. <laughs> so you might need this. So I'm going to give him a serum of healing. Uh, you're always pulling me out of these bad situations, Captain. Well, that's my job. <laughs> Somebody has to, or you're going to get yourself killed. Uh. Oh. Keep them off of you then in this <laughs> and then what is what is shard at oops <laughs> didn't mean to try to change the number um what is shard doing just um preparing i guess not asking <laughs> if people need prosthetic limbs <laughs> Well, ha have I seen anybody who's missing <laughs> That's true. That's true. Right, it's not there. <laughs> you have not seen anybody uh, in your junk shop who is missing. <laughs> that is not a thing you have seen. But there is a bunch of junk. There is a bunch of junk, yes. I I'm going to scavenge through the junk looking if I can find something that I can use to build something that we will need. I, I, at this point, I'm just doing it to keep busy. So I yeah, I mean, it. you can find kind of in? sort of general parts. It's going to be hard to make something overnight that's going to be really useful. Um, so mechanically, I would say there isn't really... You definitely don't have enough time to make anything from, like a book. Um, you might be able to make some... You could probably make like a... Well, you could probably make like a flashlight. Um, you can what make about um, sort of like thing, but the um, technological equivalent of lockpicks? Uh, no, that's gonna that would be or a glass cutter. I feel like we need a glass cutter. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> um, I, I want to get it to replace yours. Yeah, mm -hmm. you would need more time. You feel like you could probably fashion a glass cutter but it would take you it take you i don't know maybe 10 hours total of work um you would either have to like not sleep tonight or do it tonight and tomorrow night that kind of thing oh wait how is bobber doing oh bobber's fine uh do, do you have a way of healing bobber by the way yeah mm -hmm. okay would you i mean if we're about to sleep i can also just cast mending on him as well yeah, but I haven't used my free repair of the day yet, so. Uh -huh. And he only has. He's only missing one HP. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So that's all good. <laughs> Anything else that anyone would like to accomplish before you go to sleep? Head down and level up. Charge. I would like to treat deadly wounds on everyone who's missing hit points. Alright, so you. What do you get when you take 20? Um, 27. 27. So that is, I believe, just a success. So yeah. you will get one. He can give everyone a single hit point back. Woo! Plus, will we get our two now for uh, 
for being level two and resting? You will get you will get one because you are level one when he's doing it. Uh, well, when we when we take our extended rest and our natural healing, will we get our two hit points? Uh, yeah, two? I'll say okay. you like you level up as you fall asleep, basically. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you'll get two from that. Nice. Having dreams of leveling up all the time. Level up dreams. Level up dreams. This makes you about halfway through book one. Woo! Kind of oh, by boy. definition. Sweet. SP wise. We're now twice as powerful as we were yesterday. That <laughs> <laughs> was your pep talk, Captain. You geared <laughs> us all up. Mm-hmm. Yay. And like I can stab things better. That wasn't me. That was from your own heart. You had it in you the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Uh, Right. Cool. Well, I think that's a good place to call it there. Level two, baby. Assault on the garrison. Assault on uh, the garrison. A a mixed mixed success session, Mm -hmm. I would say. Oh, yeah. Some definite, uh, definitely unfortunate in some regards. Win it all. But it was very good. <laughs> it's all very good. All right. Until next week, this was Really Playing Games Starfinder Against the Aeon Throne. <laughs>